Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on my assassin. So I'm very pleased to see you guys reacted to my video. Seeing you guys show some interest, discussing, and sharing suggestions is very nice to see. Anyways, I know I haven't responded to some of your comments since they're getting too many, but I do read them and I respond when I can. So consider this as my response to some of y'all's questions. So, number one question. Is this by far better than auto red cut build? I'd go as far as to say that yes, it out DPS's auto red cut. And here, let me prove that to you. Over here to the left is pure auto attack. Red cut build with three stem worm cards. Then on the right is pure envenomed knife build. Noticed how much stronger it is. Over 60,000 difference in DPS. Just using the same double sandstorm setup. Except on the right, there's three open accessory card slots. Okay, don't worry, I tested manual red cut. And it did so much worse here. Total damage dealt in one minute. Okay, case proven. But what if we combine the two? Well, I got you guys covered. So here, let me present you, Envenomed Knife with Auto Red Cut. Crazy right? Anyways, I don't see a lot of people running this build yet, but it's really good that I'm able to out DPS snipers and wizards that have much higher divine power than I do. Let's fast this forward now. But remember, you like what you see, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to my channel so I can afford to switch gears. Once I hit level 80, we're also doing a giveaway at 500 sub colon closing parenthesis dot so don't miss that. Subscribe now. Total damage dealt in one minute. Okay. So enough of that, bottom line is, Auto Red Cut is okay, and Venom Knight is way better. If you combine the two, you've got the best DPS. Build in Rube, based on my testing only. So, that's a pretty long response for question one, number two. And Venom Knife Proc Venom Splasher dot dot do you need to level it up then? This one's pretty interesting. I had my Venom Splasher at level 10 when I switched to this build. But luckily, another creator commented and shared his build. And I saw it in the comments. Check him out. Question number three. Is Envenom Knife F2P friendly? Straight answer is yes, it is F2P friendly. I'd even go as far as to say that most builds for Assassins are F2P friendly, with the exception of pure critical builds. Question number four. Does Envenomed Knife change your attack element to poison? Luckily, it doesn't. It's 100% neutral unless you cast Enchant Poison. Number five. Venom Splasher proc chance? So it clearly states in the skill description that the proc chance of Venom Splasher when casting in Venom Knife is 30%. While this feels true for mobs, it does feel like it has way lower proc chance on PvP and never procs when casting it on bosses. I did raise this issue to support, but I haven't gotten a response back. So if you're running this build and experiencing them, same issue, contact support. LOL. Let's get it noticed by the support team. Number 6. Is it great for PvP? I'm a little torn here, and maybe because I'm gapped right now since. Everyone is level 80 now and I have outdated gears, but it's a yes and no. You need to lock your opponent quickly and have max ask to deal enough damage. A lot of people are using Metaller Requiem now which is going to make this a little bit harder to use in PvP. Not to mention the amount of people using RGO card are increasing. Anyways, I'm not the best expert in PvP law, but consider using different core setup and don't rely too much on poison. Consider dual sandstorm as well, and maybe refine dagger if you have stem worm card, and definitely try meteor if you're level 80 plus. Anyways, those are the most notable questions I have in the comments section.
and this is my quick little update on my assassin cross. Next week, I will be able to craft level 80 weapons, and should be releasing a comparison video soon. Let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions. Also, please like my video and subscribe. We're halfway through 500 subs, so be sure to subscribe if you want to enter the giveaway. The rest of this video is just meme of ping, so I can show you how well this build does in MVPs, in live scenario, and so that I can get some extra watch hours. Anyways, enjoy. I'll put in a little background music for you. So turn on autoplay and watch until you fall asleep. That's it for me. See you on the next video. Thank you.